97.3 FM WJDF. We're just having fun this morning. Coming up on Friday, we'll be at Pete's Tire Barns as Bigfoot returns to help out the Franklin County Community Meals Program. It's going to be a huge event. Jim Haybon from Pete's Tire Barn and Zach Young, who's in charge of internet marketing at Pete's Tire Barns, are here. Good morning to both. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Jay. How are you? Good. Huge event Friday. Wow. Yeah, we're really excited. I mean, this is the fourth time that we've done it, and now we're back in orange. Now, we haven't really had Bigfoot here to do a promotion like this in terms of a to help out a cause it's it's been uh it's don't get me wrong it's been great to have bigfoot here and see it but this this is like a win-win situation all around yeah we had bigfoot here probably uh three four years ago uh but there was no cause involved it was just just to show uh bigfoot uh but this year we're doing it a little bit differently uh we're actually going to be uh uh hopefully collecting a lot of food goods uh for the uh food pantry uh, to benefit the uh, Franklin County uh, Food Pantry. So uh, we're excited about it. Uh, Zach and I have put a lot of work and time and effort into this, and uh, we're hoping that everybody comes out. On a, it's going to be a beautiful day on Friday. Uh, weather reports oh, are, are definitely a green that the weather is going to be fit for this whole event. Uh, so we're really excited about it. Time frame is 1 to 5. So what exactly do people need to do? Just basically go to the store and maybe get a couple extra things. And can they put it in the truck themselves? They can put it in the truck. Uh, Amy Clark from the food pantry will be there. We're going to have you know a juggler, hopefully, I guess. Um, we're going to have face painting. There's going to be just kind of a... It's going to be a gathering, I guess. There's just going to be kind Kind of a lot to enjoy and do while supporting a great cause. And for the kids, like 12 and under, as long as the supply lasts, you've got like 164th or 164 scale models of the truck. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, we have uh, four different designs of the uh, uh, 164th scale uh, replica of Bigfoot, but it's four different designs. It's not going to be exactly the design that you're going to see here. Um, and just to let people know that uh, all you baseball fans out there, uh, I'm not sure, Zach, if I should give out the secret now, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, the Bigfoot theme this year, the Bigfoot will show up with the Major League Baseball wow. All-Star Scheme. Wow. Gorgeous looking truck. Yeah, I think it's the first time it's actually been up here on the East Coast as well, so it's really exciting. It's a, it's a different one. I think it's the Chevy truck instead of the regular Ford truck. It's, it's bright red. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. So how did they use that in the All-Star Game? They crush a couple of players. They didn't mind. <laughs> what happened? I mean, it's just just got that mo- that. Uh, it, it just got you know the major league ball s- all cool. star logo to it. Well, you know, as you know, the meals program, the whole organization is near and dear to our hearts anyway, with foodathon and all that. But this is just so great because not only does it make people feel good about donating, but I mean they get to come to a, a huge event. I mean, the kids are going to love this. I would say kids. I mean, every kid of every age. Yeah, it's not every day that you get to see uh, the Bigfoot monster truck. Uh, usually, you got to pay pretty good dollars to be able to see them perform. We're not going to be, f- be f- performing anything, however, just to be able to see uh, such a, uh, uh, a truck of, of the size that we're bringing in. Uh, especially kids are going to be excited like like you wouldn't believe. It, 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 for me, I'm 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 an old man, and I'm still excited yes, about seeing are. Bigfoot. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. They can have their picture taken with Bigfoot. Yeah, it? you can have your picture taken. There's going to be a driver there. I mean, he's not really going to be driving around too much, but you can get your autograph signed by him. Bigfoot signs an autograph? No. Well, Bigfoot, yeah. Sir. Why not? But I mean, they get in it or no? No, you no, can't no, get can't in get it. in it. Yeah, but uh, right maybe next inside to it. the wheel. It oh will be sitting God. on top of two crushed cars, so it's definitely going to be a, a good-looking photo. And just to touch on that, what Zach just touched on, uh, what he's going to do probably around noontime or so uh, is when he'll be actually uh, uh, making his appearance, um, and he's actually going to climb up on two cars, uh, crush those two cars, and then he'll sit there for the day for people to view. Uh, but if you really want to see Bigfoot do what it is he does best, uh, he will be crushing these two cars uh, probably between the 12, 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, so if you want to get there to see that happening, uh, that would be the best time to see it. Other than that, uh, yes, pictures can be taken uh, like Zach uh, touched on. They can uh, have their picture taken inside the wheel. Uh, just to touch on one other thing, though, we're actually not putting food into the truck itself. Oh, okay. And the reason for that well, I didn't know. It's is a Bigfoot truck. doesn't have a bed. Okay. Okay, it's it's an open <clears throat> area, 
so there's no place to put it. Uh, what we will have on display will be one of our box trucks. Uh, we will have boxes set up on the tailgate of the truck where people can drop their oh, canned okay. goods right into the boxes on our truck. Uh, so unfortunately, there's no place really to, uh, uh, to put canned goods in the Bigfoot truck. Um, also, just to touch on, we're going to be accepting uh, canned good donations if you cannot come to the event on Friday afternoon. Uh, we have three... We have three different drop points. We've got one at the Workers' Credit Union, another one at the TD Bank North, and another one at Bank of America, right here in Orange. Right. So, if you can't make it on Friday, you can just swing by any time during the week and drop off cans of them. Now, Hannaford's been helping out, too, huh? Yeah? Yeah, they have been. Um, we're hoping that they're going to drop off a pretty big donation. We've been talking back and forth with them. The same thing with Walmart as well. Yep. Um, we're not sure yet, but we're pretty excited what they're gonna what they're gonna bring by. Well, they're very important foodathon partners every mm. year too. Yeah. So, um, and uh, I guess my brother's sending down some food, a little bit of food there. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna be offering free pizza <clears throat> from OHOP um, between the hours of one and five. So the entire time that we're there, we're gonna be having pizza to give out. You're putting in a lot of really setting this thing up for a big party yeah and Drinks we're lucky and that the weather is nice we're really it's, it's really working out i mean every step of the way it's just getting bigger and bigger especially with the support from the local banks and walmart and hannaford's we've just really been fortunate well it's nice that we you've over the time that we've been talking about this you've moved the time back a little bit i think that was a great idea to help out so the kids because it is like the first day of school or so for some of them second day right maybe. yeah we, and we zach and i had <clears> sat down <throat> and realized that if we had run this on the time span that we had originally planned to do so uh, a lot of the kids wouldn't be able to make it to the event uh, we originally had it from uh, noon until four yeah. we realized it was a school day uh, especially for the athol orange area uh, so we moved it ahead to, from 1 to 5 to be able to allow the kids time to get down there, uh, have their pictures taken, look at the truck, uh, have their face painted. Uh, we're also going to have face painting. Yeah. Uh, I believe the face painting will be... From 3 to 5. From 3 to 5. Um, and that will not cost them anything either. Uh, we're also going to have a lot of giveaways. Um, we're going to have raffles on mo the uh, monster truck uh, memorabilia. Uh, T-shirts, hats, okay. and we're going to have a RC grand bar. prize uh, giveaway uh, for a remote control Ooh. monster truck. Wow. Um, wow. So uh, there's a lot of time and effort that we've put into this. Uh, we did this last year in Northampton where we collected uh, food goods. Uh, we collected $700 in cash. And we also collected two truckloads of food. So well, you didn't you didn't say that. You're taking money too if people want to donate. Oh, absolutely. Cash? We're taking know. cash donations also. Okay. Yes. All right. uh, Zach, if you want to touch on how the banks are working with that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So they're going to have drop points as, set up as well for your canned goods and monetary donations. So if you just drop off, you know, five dollars or a dollar, anything that you can really goes to support the Franklin County Community Meals Program and really helps a, a local family. So, so the people want to make out a check, do you just make it out to FCCMP? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. And just drop it off at the yeah. bank and then they're And just so people know, Franklin County Community Meals Program not only runs the pantry, but they also run community meals at Bethany Lutheran Church here in Orange, plus uh, locations further to our west mm -hmm. in in Greenfield and Turner's as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, not, not only because there's an ongoing need for food, but I mean right now, you may see more people taking advantage of it in West County only because of the situation Irene's put a lot of the towns under. I mean, some of the shelters are still open and such, and so that's great. It's just a great, it's just a great event. Now, you said to me off the air yesterday as we were walking around the grounds there, some of these people come and they, we encourage them to hang around for a while. Sure. You know, they say an hour or two and just hang out and enjoy oh, yeah. it. Uh, we, um, when we did this four years ago, um, we had people actually bring their blankets out. They sat out there for a couple of hours, just sitting on the blanket, just constantly taking pictures and enjoying the view. And the weather, again, at that time was, was perfect for the yeah. event. Uh, and it's going to be just as nice for this event. Uh, so we're hoping that people just come out in droves and, and uh, um, donate to the, uh, the food pantry. Because uh, you never know, someday we all may need the services of the food pantry. So uh, it's, it's going to be a great event. Uh, we're just asking one thing, though. When you do come to the event, we have plenty of parking. I was just going to ask. Uh, we, 
we're asking people not to park on Route 2A. Um, A, you'll probably be asked by the local authorities to move your vehicle. Uh, and B, it's just too dangerous to be crossing that street. Uh, so we're asking you to go ahead and pull into the parking lot. Um, and there'll be ample parking for everybody, uh, whether it be uh, in the parking lot itself or just around the building. Uh, but please do not park on Route 2A as A, that will tie up traffic and B, it could be uh, a hazard. So uh, we're asking that you, you, you pull your vehicles in the parking lot. There'll be plenty of parking. You're going to have people out there sort of showing them where to go? I mean, are you talking about around the back of the building? Like Yeah, there's parking the around the back. There's also plenty of side street <coughs> parking. We just really don't want people on Route 2A. It's, it's yeah. definitely going to be a dangerous situation if they Because if you're, if you're facing the front of Pete's around the right-hand side, can you walk out back to the back lot, like where the paint shop is and stuff? I mean... I mean, will they be out that far out back, or are you just talking? No, no, the, the truck is going to be displayed out front. Oh, I know uh, that. It'll be facing the road. We have the big parking area over by the uh, the retread shop. Um, all the employees will be instructed that they to park around the back. We're okay. have parking available okay. to the public, uh, and that way they don't park on, on uh, 2A. Uh, there'll be a little bit of parking in the front parking lot as well and on the main entrance. Uh, but we're asking, please do not park on the uh, on Route 2A, uh, as that could be dangerous with people crossing the street and drivers. Uh, we have a tendency of drivers driving by and just peeling their eyes on the truck and not paying attention to the road. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, please do not park on 2A. Now, AOTV's coming over to film it too, or? Yeah, AOTV and. Carol, they're going to come over and they're going to film a little bit for us. They really helped support us a couple weeks ago when they let us film a, a I saw short that. spot. Yeah, it was. A you lot look of fun. pretty ugly on TV. I mean, good on TV. <laughs> did, Not. <laughs> did you see me dancing? No, you look good. No, you you guys look very good. It was it was. I think I mean it caught my eye. Yeah, thank you. And it's going on the um, the regular scroll. I think. Yeah, of, I think uh, it's on the regular events. scroll, and then we're popping up. I don't remember how. Ever. Excellent. Like Ten minutes. That's excellent. Or so. Um, is it on the website too? Zach? Yeah, we're on the website. I mean, is it this? On yeah, the it's website? on okay. Pete's website. I went to Pete's the other day. I just couldn't Facebook. see Facebook. We're all over the place. Cool. Anything else we're missing? Or? Yeah, I, I just want to make sure we that we remember to thank all the sponsors, um, especially uh, uh, AOTV, uh, the uh, the three banks that have uh, come on board with us, um, the um, Hannaford Supermarket, uh, Walmart of Orange. Uh, Don Dean, we appreciate uh, Don working with us on uh, uh, being able to get this pizza over there for people to uh, enjoy pizza and soda and water and um, and uh, it's just going to be a great event. We, mm. we 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 can't wait till Friday uh, comes here because Zach and I are, are probably more excited than than these people that will show up there. Yeah, we've been knowing that it's going to happen for a couple months now, so it's it's been a slow build up for us. So we're, we're finally. We're really happy it's finally happening, I guess would be the best way to say it. My only frustration when you have a big event like this is sometimes it gets so big you don't have time to enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, you. Um, so you guys, because you'll be in the middle of it going, <laughs> Well, that's okay. I mean, yeah. it, it's really for the, the county meals. Program. Oh, sure, sure. So, I mean, sure. whatever we can raise. It's... And it's just so nice to see people come down and, you know, I mean, it's not like you're, you're, you're out there going, oh, come buy a set of tires. <laughs> it's like, it's an event just to have people come down and have fun and see yeah, it. I it, mean, I think people feel good about Pete's no matter what, any, anyhow. But I mean, a, it's a great way to end the summer. I sure. Mean, it really is. It's a, it's a great kickoff into fall. It's a great thing. And I guess my point in saying it, there's no obligation, there's no admission cost, no, no nothing. Everything. Just, I mean, if you don't have a donation, that's fine. Just come on by, enjoy your time. I'm sure you'll get a lot of food. I bet you get a lot of money too. Yeah. Just to. Yeah, and I just want to make sure that, uh, and I know Zach and I, when we first started talking about this, uh, we were a little hesitant on obviously how much this was going to cost us to do all this event. Uh, and of course, we, we have somebody we have to answer to. And, and I'd like to throw a, uh, a thank you out to Peter Gary uh, for allowing Zach and I uh, to run with this um, because we believe this is going to be a, a huge success, not just for, for the tire barn, but also for. for uh, for people in Franklin, Hampshire County, I think we're, it's going to be a, a, a great event. Uh, and, and, and thank you to Peter Gary for allowing Zach and I to, uh, to run with this and, uh, uh, and to do the planning we needed to do to get this right. So, Well, thank to you, thanks to you both for coming up and doing this and letting us come down there, too. That's going to be fun. Just a lot of fun. Jim Haybon, retail uh, purchaser and manager and marketing guy from Pete's. And Zach, you on the Internet marketing. You've done a great job with this. Looking forward to, to Friday, no doubt about it.
1 to 5. But come down at noon to see the truck go up on the cars if you can. I mean, yeah, that's. I, I believe yeah. that's going to happen between noon and 12.30. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you very much, both of you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Come right back with computer weather after these.